With almost 500 sessions at Next 2019, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see migrating from a monolith to microservices, then stay tuned, because here's the rewind. What we've got here is an overview of what you could expect from your own migration, brought to you by two of DevRel's finest. Adam Ross and Martin Omander walk through the advantages and some common hiccups of refactoring a company's monolithic infrastructure into something that's lighter, more agile, and maintainable, thanks to microservices. Let's pause. What are microservices anyway? And does your system qualify as a monolith? Is that bad? Well, I don't actually know about your system, but a monolith system is fully interconnected, meaning every piece is part of a single whole, where updating one feature means rebuilding and redeploying the entire system. As a contrast, microservices are independently built, deployed, operated, and scaled. They connect to other services by calling each other, but they are not constructed or hosted, established, whatever you want to call it, together. In the talk, Martin explains that a microservice has four defining characteristics. An API, which is the only way to communicate with the service. Compute resources to, you know, run business logic. Some sort of state, could be database storage, a file system, in-memory cache, whatever it needs. And most importantly, according to Martin, a team that is associated with it. Someone inside the company to turn to if something goes wonky. This leads to the core trade-off that Adam and Martin discuss, development versus operations. Reducing technical complexity makes it easier to update and fix your code, but requires more operational effort, more deployments, harder troubleshooting, etc. So the secret sauce for these two? Serverless. A serverless approach handles most of your operational complexity, making this trade-off irrelevant. And with microservices cutting down on technical complexity, your company can move to an agile, adaptable place. To prove that, Adam and Martin had a complete microservice introduced within 46 seconds of their talk beginning. Sure, technically it was a super simple cloud function, but that is still a complete microservice deployed with a one-liner. That is the agility they are here to show off. So, if I've caught your interest, you're going to want to see the talk, because they managed to use a fictional company's journey as an iterative demo that creates a relatable migration story for anyone who thinks microservices are their future, but may have some concerns about getting started. Because while these two are showing off the power of Cloud Functions, Cloud Run, Cloud Firestore, Cloud Tasks, and Google Sheets, they are also calling out pitfalls like data fragmentation or component chains scaling at different rates, all around advice from two people who have your back. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.